Wendy Aguilar joins us live from the scene along West El Camino near Northgate Boulevard with exclusive details. Wendy. Marianne, it looks like right now we are seeing that suspect coming out of his vehicle. We were able to see those hands. You see him with his hands up in the air right now. You see him right behind the vehicle. It looks like he's about to get on the ground and you can hear negotiations. Firefighters are focusing on the structure right next to it, trying to prevent that fire from jumping over. But I want to show you on this side, multiple vehicles. You can see them right over there completely destroyed. But this time they tell me that they don't have a suspect or a motive for the shooting. But as you can see right behind me, they have collected a lot of evidence. Those evidence markers have been picked up. Orange cones right over here. They have that yellow tape and it's covering this whole area up. Now this is something you don't see every day. Take a look how thick that branch is. This is where 800 people spent the night last night and you can see them. Some of them are up already. When it comes to social media, almost all of us use it in one form or another. So this is Snapchat. It's still close at this time. Take a look at the mess left behind after that fire. Paper towels all over the place. You can hardly recognize that that is a trailer truck. The mother of that child has made suicidal statements and the other thing is that they say that she has connections to China and could be trying to to take the child out of the country. There are signs on the other side indicating that this road is completely closed. You can see the power that this stream has as it crosses the road. We've seen that water move debris, pieces of branches from one side to the other. Free parking after six in downtown Sacramento is now a thing of the past. Our four legged friends, they need a party too, and that's why this weekend it's happening. Two years in the making, four family members coming together to build this place is a combination of rustic and industrial. I've got the Cracker Jacks ready. The Yay. fans are ready cheering on their favorite team. Anything else that you have planned for today? Maybe we should find you a date to take you out to dinner. Oh. oh. No. Hola, buenos días y bienvenidos a Susie's Mexican Food. Listo para comer tacos? All I said is, are you ready for tacos? I'm spending my last $20 that I have in my pocket and we're popping some tags. If you are watching out there, she's still single. Are we looking for a guy? No. no. <laughs> I had my man. <laughs> Gerald Martin starts each day with a trip to the mailbox. Because he checks the mail every day, that's his chore. This Thursday, he'll be celebrating his 18th birthday. His mom, Adrienne, wants to make this an unforgettable day for the teen. Gerald has autism and he loves his birthday, um, but he's never like been invited to a birthday party ever. So I just wanted him to be excited and get cards in the mail. That's why she created a post on social media asking for help. We're doing a lot of fun, good stuff. We're going to a cas Indian casino. He's really excited. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's going to win millions and retire. <laughs> so we will see. <laughs> and just in case he doesn't win those millions, his mom hopes he'll have plenty of cards to make him smile. This is my mom and her brother. Donovan Flack's world was turned upside down four months ago when he and his family lost their home in Marysville. We got evicted and I stayed with my friend that took me in. And my mom has just kind of been jumping from place to place and she's been staying out here a lot. His mom is just one of more than 60 homeless people living at this encampment, which has become a huge concern for Marysville. And that's why a process of clearing out this area is underway. It's clearly health hazards. There's public sanitation issues. We're right by the river over here. Um, it's something that needs to happen. 14 Forward is just one of the newest temporary options available for the homeless. It features 22 bed units that can house up to 40 people help with substance abuse, mental health disorders, um, employment services. Flack didn't find his mother here today, but he left with her memories and the hope that she'll find the courage to move forward. You can get over it. You just, you have to want it. You have, you have to need, like, it's not that you need it because everybody needs something. Wendy Aguilar joins us live from the scene along West El Camino near Northgate Boulevard with exclusive details. Wendy. Marianne, it looks like right now we are seeing that suspect coming out of his vehicle. We were able to see those hands. You see him with his hands up in the air right now. You see him right behind the vehicle. It looks like he's about to get on the ground and you can hear negotiations with patrols. They've been talking over the loudspeaker for the last 40 minutes. When we arrived here, that vehicle, there was smoke coming out. There's several patrol vehicles standing behind this uh, person who has been driving. Now, police say this was originally a traffic stop and it ended in a chase, which came to an end here. When we arrived, there was a lot of people who came out to 
watch what's going on. Police were moving everybody back, including ourselves. They have canine officers out here as well. A lot of lights. Um, like I said, negotiations have been going on for probably 40 minutes since we arrived out here. And um, at one point, that person inside that vehicle was screaming back at officers, cursing them. It looks like two officers are getting close to the vehicle right now. They're going behind the vehicle. They're probably making sure that there's nobody else inside that vehicle. It looks like they're getting close right now. There's a canine officer with them. Several police officers are surrounding that suspect. You can see the, uh, you can hear the canine officers right now. Looks like they're getting close in there. It's hard for me to see over here. I'm gonna switch to the other side. He's on the ground and you can hear those canine officers right now. It looks like it's coming to an arrest. Again, this coming to an end after long negotiations that have been going on for more than 40 minutes at this point. It looks like they're patting him down right now. Um, if I can get to the other side. There's a lot of lights. Uh, two blocks have been closed off right now to traffic. So if you have an alternative route, I'd recommend you take that at this point because they are still working to get him off the ground right now. Like I said, a lot of negotiations have been taking place and uh, Marianne, for, for now, we'll send it back over to you. All right. When Good morning, Marianne. You can see a few of the branches left behind from that tree that came down earlier this morning and you can see that crew busy at work trying to repair that power line this morning and this is what they're having trouble with. There's a lot of water on the side of the road, so as they're trying to put that pole back in there, they're having trouble with all this water, but take a look at this video from earlier today. That big tree coming down and bringing down power power lines and that power pole earlier today. A lot of trouble out here. Now that road is completely closed. It's been shut down. There are signs that are indicating that this road is closed. No indication as to how long this will take, but as that rain continues, a lot of trouble for these workers as they're so busy this morning. Marianne, we'll send it back over to you. There is no better way to celebrate this big holiday weekend than out on the water, and that's exactly what all these people are doing. Check it out. Some people arrived as early as Friday. They've been out here all weekend just enjoying the water, the sun. Some people are just arriving right now, but of course, we gotta keep in mind safety. So that's why we have our safety life jackets on right now. And Jose, you're going to tell us a little bit more about safety. So what are some of the things that boaters out there need to know and those who will be joining out here also need to know today? Well, number one, make sure you wear your life jacket. Um, if your kids are going to be out here swimming, it's, it's best to have their life jackets on. Uh, make sure you have a sober driver. Um, with the uh, 4th of July heavy boat traffic out here, uh, make sure you, ha you have a proper lookout. We have people that are swimming, we have jet skis out, we have boats that are on anchor, a lot of anchor lines out, so make sure you pay extra attention this weekend. I love it. What is this area called? This is called Mandeville. This is where the Hilton fireworks will take place tomorrow evening. So this is definitely the spot to be for the 4th of July. Now you mentioned something earlier today, the blue light law. What does that mean? Yes, anytime you approach a law enforcement boat with the blue lights flashing, you're required to slow down to, to a steering speed only. This minimizes any wake. Um, if we're on an enforcement stop and we're tied up to another vessel, that weight can cause damage if the boat slammed together. Um, also, if we're providing medical aid to a patient on our boat, that may uh, increase the injury. There you go. Important things to remember. Anything else that you want to add about keeping people safe out here this week, holiday weekend? Well, as you can see, I mean, we have beautiful areas out here on the Delta, out here in Mandeville specifically. Um, but we want folks to have a good time. And don't forget about the little things. Wear your sunscreen. Stay hydrated. We want you to have a good, healthy, and safe weekend. I love it. Good, healthy, and safe weekend. You can't ask for any more than that. A lot of people still arriving out here, guys. We're just going to enjoy this beautiful scenery out here. And with that, we'll send it back over to you guys that in the studio. That is stunning. See, this is the time of day that you want to be out on the water. Yeah. This is when it feels so nice later this afternoon.